In this video I'm going to show you how to use any cardboard headset instead of your Daydream View in order to use Daydream VR. Hi and welcome to this video, my name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District bringing you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR. So if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Daydream VR, consider subscribing. Today I'm going to show you how to use any cardboard headset, like for example this incredible Ritec VMAX in order to use Daydream VR instead of the original Daydream View headset from Google. Now for this tutorial I assume that you already have a Daydream motion controller. Either you have the original from Google or you have a third party motion controller that works together with Daydream. Now if you don't have a motion controller then do have a look into the description below because I'm going to point you to the right video where I'm going to teach you what you have to do in that case. So the first thing that you have to do you have to pair your headset with your Daydream app. In order to do so you will need the QR code of your headset. Now in most cases the QR code comes together with the headset. In the case of the Ritec VMAX for example. The QR code is here in the manual. If you happen not to have the QR code simply do a Google search for QR code and the name of your headset and you should normally find the QR code for your headset. And now you open your Daydream app on your phone and let me show you how that looks for me. Here it is and here in the app you click on the top left hamburger menu. Then you click on settings and at the moment on the top you see a headset is the Daydream view. You click on it and now on the bottom you see other scan QR code. So now you have to get your QR code ready and you click on scan QR code. You point to the QR code and success successfully paired. Your phone is now configured for your and then the name of your headset. Click on OK and you're now good to go. So now your Daydream is configured to use your cardboard headset and what that means is that the Daydream app is going to render all the apps and games with the optical settings of your cardboard headset which is of course fantastic. However we do have a little problem because whenever you're going to start Daydream apps or games there's going to be a pop up which says that your headset is not Daydream compatible. That is of course unfortunate and you can ignore this pop up and then on the next screen you have to tap the screen constantly for like 10 times in order to go into the app or game. Now that is very inconvenient and there's one way to get around that problem and I'm going to show you now how you can do that. You have to enable the developer options. I'm going to show you now how you do it. So again you have to go into the Daydream app and again you have to click on the hamburger menu. Again you have to click on settings and now in settings you need to enable developer options. Now as you can tell here I have already done that. However you have probably not done that so I'm going to show you now how to do it. On the very bottom of the page you will see build version. Now onto this build version you have to constantly keep on clicking until it says developer options enabled. So I have already enabled them however you simply constantly click on build version until it will tell you that the, that the developer options are enabled. So once this happens you click on the developer options, you go into the developer options and then you look for skip VR entry scenes, screens, skip VR entry screens. So and then here in skip VR entry screens you simply mark it and it will tell you this is an advanced option for development only. If enabled it will cause the normal VR entry screens, controller pairing, update, recalibration, blah 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 to be skipped which may cause problems. If apps cease to behave correctly disable this option. Okay, perfect. So now once you have done that you can use your cardboard headset as if it was the Daydream view. So let me now demonstrate this to you. I'm now in the Daydream app and to start Daydream I have to click on the button on the bottom right corner. Okay, so this is how it looks. I'm going to put the phone into my 
into my viewer, into the right tech in Emacs. And now, as you can tell, the, the screen which normally says that I have to click on the on the button on the button of my daydream controller is not there anymore. So I simply have to do that myself. I have to long press on the button, and here is the controller. And now I can start any app, for example, Vulkan here. And you don't get any kind of pop-ups, it simply goes into the game. this is what sometimes happens when you use a cardboard app sometimes when you go into the games your phone will simply fall asleep and then you have to wake it up again but then you can use your cardboard headset for daydream just like that that's it already for this how-to video i hope this was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and of course if you have not subscribed to daydream district yet do so now keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video